Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Today we're going to be turning this bit of firewood into this tea light holder. This will make a great gift for Christmas or for Mother's Day. So, let's get started. The first thing to do was to go and find a piece of suitable wood from my seasoned wood pile. It's important that the wood is seasoned, otherwise when you bring it inside it's going to crack and it's going to split. Next was to mark how long I wanted it to be. I knew I wanted it to hold three tea lights, so I laid them out next to it as a rough guide. Then using a knife I just made little cuts to mark where I was going to have to cut the log with the saw. Safety first as always and then to make the two cuts where I've marked already where to go. Now using the knife again, I started to strip the bark off the log. This is an extremely satisfying job, and if your log is properly seasoned, then the bark is just going to peel off like a dream. The tea light holder needs two flat surfaces. To cut the first one, I'm going to attach a flat piece of wood to run along the fence. I'm marking on the wood where the candles go, so that when I screw the screws in, they will be in the waste wood that will be removed later. With the flat surface installed on the wood, I can run it along the fence of the bandsaw, cutting a parallel flat surface. With one flat surface cut on the log, I no longer needed this flat piece of wood. I can now cut the second flat edge by running the first one along the fence. I put the tea lights back on, covering where the screw holes were. Then using a pencil, I marked out where the holes would need to be drilled for the tea lights. I put a 38mm Falsner bit in the drill press. Glasses on, and then it was time to drill out the holes. Respirator on and using a random all to sand it into 80 grit and sand it all down. At 
I'll then change to AC grip to give it a nice smooth finish. The finish I chose to apply to the project is a medium brown briar wax. It's important to use a finish that's non flammable, the tea light should never be left unsupervised. Briar wax recommends applying the finish with a cloth, but I prefer to use a paintbrush. When the finish is dry, I just buff it off with a brush inserted into my hand drill. And the last step, just sticking on some felt pads to stop it scratching any surface it might be put on. That's it all done. Someone would be very pleased with this handmade gift and they don't need to know that all it cost was a piece of firewood, well, and all your time and attention. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more handmade projects.